and welcome. I'm so pleased that you are here. This video, we are going to focus on the five classical seated positions for pranayama and meditation. We'll begin in Mirasana, which is hero's pose, the position that I'm sitting in right now. You may find though that if your quads are tight, that the buttocks don't come towards the heels, in which case you can always take either a chip form lock or a pillow and allow for that elevation. Of course, choose a pillow that is high enough for you to be able to hold the pose comfortably. If you have any knee issues and you find that there's pain in your knees, I recommend you coming out of the pose and choosing an alternate seated position. The next seated position is your easy pose, also known as Sukhasana. In Sukhasana, if your hips are tight, you'll likely notice that your knees will come up quite high, and there's a tendency to roll back in this. Try instead to be thinking of, again, having elevation so that your hips are higher than your knees. That will allow your knees to come down a little closer towards your mat and floor. It will also help to prevent that tendency, as I just mentioned, of rounding the back and collapsing the back. When we do this, we fatigue quite quickly. We want to maintain an upright posture in our seated position, especially for meditation and pranayama, as we want to have that channel of energy moving from the base of the spine all the way up through the crown of the head. The next pose is your Siddhasana. Siddhasana is known also as adept pose. You can take your right or your left ankle and gently place it over top of the opposite. Now, do the same on the other side. And you'll likely notice that one side feels quite a bit more comfortable than the other. When you're in your meditation, choose the side that feels most comfortable but of course, be sure to practice both sides so that you balance both sides of the body. The next is your Anapadmasana, which is your half lotus. Take your right hand to your knee, take your left hand to your foot. And at first, you can do a practice that's known as praying the baby. This allows for great mobility in the hips. Now take your right foot and slide it into the inner crease of the opposite leg and allow your knee to start to move down towards your left. This is your half lotus position. And again, you want to ensure that you do both sides, even though one likely will feel a little more comfortable than the other. In time, both will feel equally comfortable. And again, you can move your pillow or your prop off to the side if you find that you're comfortable in this position and able to maintain an upright posture. Lastly is, of course, your Padmasana which is your full lotus. So again, taking your right foot, guide it into the inner crease of your leg, take down your left, and bring it into the opposite. Once you're here, you can begin to draw your knees closer and towards the midline of your body. You'll want to do this for asana that come in the practice of yoga much later. And so if you, in your comfortable seated position, can draw the knees closer in, many of those poses will be available to you. Once more, you want to just switch it up so that you also have the other. So taking now your left foot into the inner crease of your right leg, and then taking now your right foot and the other. Again, one side will likely feel more comfortable than the other. So in your meditation, choose which side does. Thank you so much for joining me. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll be more than happy to make a tutorial answering those questions. The light within me honors the light within you. Thank you.